good stuff. I love it. I think I wish you could just play music for a full show. Can we do that this Friday? <laughs> Where you just play yeah. for a full 15 minutes. Uh, we just let you do your thing. Yes, we should. Fantastic. Okay. I'm seriously going to hold you to that. All right. All right, everybody. He is known as a king of Benga. He has a lot up his sleeve. He's a man of many talents, everybody. Please welcome to the stage right now, Dan Cheesy. <laughs> You look so good. Hi, how are you? Color coordinating. You look unbelievable. Not, not as good as you. Thank though. you. <laughs> but this is awesome. I love this outfit. Hi, Dan. What's up? Where did you go? Nico, I too. Seen you. I haven't seen you. Last year, I didn't see you. 2016 was a good year for you. It was quiet. Yeah. Um, I nearly travel quite a lot. So yeah. I wasn't around, okay. which is why I haven't been playing so much. But I'm back. You're back. Yes, and that's good news. It's a very, very good news. Mm. We love you. You have such a Asante. huge fan base. Yes. Asante so, Asante. you know, your story is an interesting one. A lot of people actually don't know the man behind the bank, the man behind the king title. Um, <laughs> looking back many, many years ago when you were a young guy, did you know that you were going to be this wonderfully talented? <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, yeah. I mean, <laughs> the, the, the only thing that I wanted to do was to sing music that I thought I could share with other people. Because I grew up, you know, at Woshago, Kidogo. So you grew up there. Where did you Toka Mali, kuna itu asiaya. Uko nyuma. Uko nyuma. Uko nyuma, yeah. Nyuma asiaya kabisa. So you come from there, you come to Nairobi, to Keshi na Mbanane, nini. So all these ideas, you know, you, you, and then of course you've also seen the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. And you want to tell the story of people who are from here. Um, and see if we can share it to the rest of the world. Which is not something that we've done as a country enough yeah um, so i never really thought i would get a 100 people to a gig yeah I but look at so. you you did it absolutely <laughs> a lot of people don't know that uh you are an architect yes yes I'm tell me architect. tell me about this side of like you mm. and i believe nameless as well he's an architect too yes nameless yeah. Is senior, yeah there's I actually a whole movement now because nameless mm -hmm. is an architect um and then there's me there's also Della. Yes, she um, is too. Yeah, he's yeah. also an architect. Um, Wh where did that come from? I guess it's not so different. Um, the way of doing architecture and the way of writing music is not different. The yeah. mechanics are the same. Yeah. Unans an idea, then you workshop, you workshop, you workshop. Eventually, you have a final product. People talk about it all the time. So, lasmo mm -hmm. criticism, which is very, it's very very similar. In fact, architects. If I if I'm not wrong, probably have the biggest music collections yeah. of anyone. Right. Because uh, of all that time drawing windows, you need music. What kind of work do you create as an architect? Or what what would be I guess your aesthetic? That's interesting. I mean, I haven't practiced for a long time. I've just started working again now. And what I'm interested in, what we're working on now, is um, a house that you can buy in a supermarket. Really. So. Prefab. Yeah, prefab okay. that you can buy fully. Uh, built and pick it up and take pick it. it up put yeah. it on a lorry and yeah. go um, talk to us about what prefab is for those who are watching who don't know <laughs> yeah well it's prefabrication so it's a house that was already built and then now you just buy and take it to your to your site and it's done all over the world we're not doing it enough here no we're yeah. not doing it enough yeah, yeah. but here true. it's also because uh to not bend our details sana. So people are like to this is not what i want you know move it yeah but i think there's a sweet spot where you can do a room let's say like a kitchen I love him to a yeah. go on that's your kitchen when you get to your site you you put it down and if you want to build the rest of your of your house yeah <laughs> you build it Amazing. So looking at everything that you do, Dan, very interesting that, you know, you're a creative, you're an architect, you're a writer, you're a singer, producer, a lot. So wh where do you feel like, I guess your heart lies the most or are you able to sort of spread yourself across? Yeah, I, I try to. Um, and that's the thing. I think a human being has many different interests, um, talents, skills. And then the thing that affects you is that sometimes you're not able to monetize. Mm -hmm. So because you're not able to monetize something, then you don't do it. But it's not that you're not good at it. So I think when you look at people in the world that have done great things, they're always multiple skills. Richard Branson, how many different industries yeah. is he in? Manu Chandaria, how many different oh, industries right. is he in? Um, and since it was where to that, we are asked to stay in one little industry. Any and architect, not architect. Ka hapo, yeah. <laughs> only. 
But that's not what's happening in the world. If you look at anyone right now who's doing great things, it's all in the middle. So like the MRI machine was designed by an architect, not a doctor. Really? An engineer, yeah. Not a doctor. Okay. It's when these skills come together is when great things happen. And I think it's, um, at least my view of it is I want to try as much as I can. And if I fail, I fail. Yeah. Um, that's, that's fine, I'll fail, I'll accept failure. But at least I tried. Um, and my time on earth can be remembered for Uyo Jamal, Jaribu Kidogo. Um, this one was bad, that one was good. Yeah. Um, and that's the sum total. But not that he was a guy who did this one thing until he's right. <laughs> I don't want that. I know there are people who are very good at that. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not me. That's not you. No. <laughs> you um, did, did take a little bit of a hiatus. We haven't seen you in the public arena for... You used to be in Pulse all the time. Do you remember that? <laughs> like yeah. every Friday you were in Pulse. Do you feel nice taking that little break? And where have you been? What have you been up to? Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I was much happier. I'm, I've been happier not being... <laughs> in the limelight. In the limelight so much. I, to be honest, um, of course this has problems in the music career, yes. But I've been happy. I've been trying out different things. Um, building computers, doing musicals, wow. um, running a little bit of a production company. Okay. So I, I'm happier now. I think I would like to be back in the limelight, yes, but not, not as much as before. Okay. Um, and those of us that were in the limelight before Facebook it was so big. Yeah. It was bad. We couldn't go anywhere. We, we couldn't do anything. You were um, under a microscope. Which is not something I want for my life. Yeah, of <laughs> so course. So Sahiz in a um, Freya Sana where it is, uh, we, I might be a little more in the limelight mm -hmm. next few months, but I'm happy to be able to go somewhere and just and chill. Yeah, and chill. Just but be. but based on your talent, ba based on your skill and and the kind of work that you put out, you know it's just a matter of time until the. <laughs> PC, let's come out. You know that's going to happen again, right? It's our, okay. our Karibisha. No, Karibisha, there's no problem. It, it's, um, the truth is, if anyone takes their time to listen to the work you put out, yeah. that's very good. And you do have a very strong fan base. Uh, and, they, and they're, you know, I, I almost want to call them almost like beehive. You know, unchanged, <laughs> unmoved, and they, uh, they're patient. Right? Someone was telling me earlier when they, when they heard that you're coming, and they're like, wow, I've waited. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, fantastic. And the wait will definitely be worth it. Talk to me a little bit about sort of taking that hiatus and, and still having to put yourself out there because life is real. Bills have to be paid. Yeah. You've got to work. You've got to keep growing in your career. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about that. I mean, it's good. The way that we started doing music um, was interesting because we started inside out. Yeah. These days I see people, even young musicians at my studio, they want to record the song and then put it on Facebook or on YouTube and say, you know, people will love it. And if you ask them who, they don't necessarily know. When we started music, what Kanji was very insistent on was your friends must know you're a musician, your classmates. And then, so it's your family, your friends, your classmates, your church, your, because at the time we were singing church, yeah. your community. So it came from inside out. And so that's what um, I, I ha everyone who's come to my concerts started coming to these concerts in 2005. Right. Very few people started coming like last year. So everyone knows all the music and they're all actually my friends. We went to school with them, we went to, um, and that's, that's the difference. It, on the one hand, it helps us keep our feet on the ground. Okay. But then also it's that these are people that are with you a lot and they're with you everywhere. And there's memories, there's um, a relationship. And it, I'm really lucky and honored to have people that are sort of interested in the sound like that. Yeah. I think now things have changed. So, so for instance, for me, if I said we're going to have a gig in two weeks, I'm very confident of the people that are coming. I even know the first 10 tickets will be sold to these guys. Right. Because Loyalty. It, because they always buy them. Yeah. And they call me and tell me, we are, we are bored. There's not been a gig in, in three months. Can you do something? Yeah. I mean, we don't have to advertise, and they will, they will come. And I'm really honored that, um, that they, are, they are with us and they're able to do such things. Of course, we still want to expand, but we also have to be aware that the industry has changed. There's so much more. Putting a song on Facebook is very effective. It is, but I also feel like it's short-lived. Uh, this instant fame, instant gratification, the likes, the... I, 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 I'm not sure, to be very honest. When you see someone, for example, when it comes to social media, when you see the way, I guess, the country's direction, mm -hmm. and uh, I heard about this, Vera Sadika is the most searched 
person in Kenya yeah. after Google, you know, after Facebook. And so using that tool as a marketing platform, using it to expand yourself, using it yeah. uh, to generate revenue, it can work. But what can you say about that sort of instant thing? And then the next day, I don't know who you are. I saw your video and I kept it moving, but it didn't have that lasting effect you get. Yeah, yeah. I think if you're playing that, that game, you have to be consistent because the audience moves on very quickly. So really? what does happen is that it's moving very quickly. So if you want to play that game and be famous, yeah. you have to do something every day. Every so day. You have to have a new photo, a new photo shoot, new a clothes, new video. new video, every single day. Every, you have to be Eric Omondi. Because it's literally, <laughs> yeah. Actually, you have to be yes. Eric Omondi, yeah. yeah. And it's literally one swipe of the finger. So here is you. Next guy, yeah. next guy, <laughs> next guy. So next time I reach you, you have to have a different thing. If I see the same photo that I saw, you keep it I'm moving. bored. Yeah, right? yeah. I'll say, this guy doesn't do anything. So I need a, a new thing. So if you're playing that game, it's perfectly valid. You have to have the energy, 30 outfits a month, <laughs> um, 30 photo shoots or one big photo shoot. I don't know how people do it, but if you do it, you do it and, and good luck because the media is even, and this is not just locally. Um, all over the world, that's what's happening. Musicians are now doing songs every five weeks. They're not doing albums. It's now songs every five weeks. It's to keep that, yeah, keep going. that thing going. At what's new? Because yeah, you did this great song, great. Yeah. What's new? And and that's where the industry is now. Are you feeling a little bit of pressure because of I guess that kind of movement, or do you feel like you just want to preserve your organic, I guess, way of doing things? So. That's a trick question. It's, there's it definitely is. pressure. Yes, there's definitely pressure. But what my solution to it is, is a little different. My solution to it is live. Oh. So if you, yeah, so um, later this year in, in April or May, we'll start playing live every week. Okay. Um, and so when we play live every week, we have the opportunity to change things every week and, and make something new and fresh every week. Um, and that's a solution for me. I, I don't really feel as though I can as myself, can produce music at that uh, speed. Right. Because I need a much bigger team. Um, I can probably do the first 10 weeks, and then I'll get tired. Because yeah. <laughs> I need someone else to kuchangia. Um, other is the sound, it starts to stagnate. You know, you begin to sound the same. Um, so I don't feel, I know musicians out there who can. Um, I'm not. I like, like My that. friend King Kaka <laughs> is very good at it. He can do a song. <laughs> He can do songs every week, and he's very good at it. He's very good. Yeah, I'm not as good. I, I fuss over everything. I want to change this thing. You're a perfectionist, yeah. I mean, and that's just not where... I, I mean, what I love about King Kaka, and I'd like to learn it for myself, and Prof also, yeah. I'd like to learn about the way they do their music, is they make decisions very quickly. Yeah. So he, he either likes it or not, and he makes that decision and commits. And story over. Yeah, me, I'm like, uh, that snare sounds good. Can we... Now it's just the box is open. We start to tweak the snare, and that's an hour, and blah, 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 blah. blah. Two days, you're <laughs> sleeping in the studio. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So and then time passes. But listen, I, I, I like that, I guess, uh, development of your craft. Um, and for each his own, everybody right. has, does it differently. You are going to be doing something amazing in just a few months. <laughs> We're very much looking forward to that. What is in the works? What's going on in Dan's Den? So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to be in a musical, okay. which is uh, Jesus Christ Superstar. Yeah, you're wearing so, the best outfit <laughs> for that. <laughs> so that, that musical, it's a famous musical, world famous musical. Um, it was done in the 60s, I think the 70s. Mm -hmm. So it's been all over the world. It's never been staged in Kenya. Yeah. So I have the opportunity to play the role of Jesus in, in this musical. Hallelujah. <laughs> I love it. That's going to be very interesting. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's happening in Easter, April the 7th to the 17th okay. at Kenya National Theatre. We have an orchestra of 30. <gasps> That's amazing. Plus a full band and a cast of another 30. It's going to be an amazing, amazing show. Can I please have a ticket for me and an <laughs> audience member? And yeah, Globo. I think, we, I think we can organize Globo, that. Globo, see, we want to go and see. Definitely. For sure. We need to make room in the orchestra for a DJ. Yes, you <laughs> should, actually. <laughs> Globo is very good. But it's, a, it's a big show. So it'll be, be a lot of fun. Um, I, I can't wait. That's really the, the big thing I'm working on now. Later in the year, I'm trying to put out a record. Okay. We'll see. Please I'm do. Not. We miss you. We I love have you. Six we want to see six songs. Now, the other six, that's a. Hey. Normally, by the time I say I want to put out a record, I have 10. 
Yeah. So I'm looking for two. <laughs> now I'm, I'm far behind. But. No, but you know what I, I feel about this year? Uh, I feel about 2017 will be a huge year of surprise. Uh, I, lo I think a lot will happen. We are in an election year as yeah. well, all right? Yeah. And there's a lot of stuff going on just globally. You are going to find your six songs. I hope so. Are you in love? I hope so. I'm always in love. With what are you who? talking about? I know. <laughs> that, that's, your, that's another song. That's song number seven. Am I in love? I'm always in love. <laughs> Please, can I have that song on your on your album? <laughs> Written by Kobe. I'll yeah, give you the words. You have to give me the lyrics, yeah. I'll give you the lyrics. Just perform it. Give me the lyrics. You're I'll running away from my question. Of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, you, you know, I'm not going to pressure you. I just know you're not, probably not going to answer This is me. my... Tenth year as a musician, I've never answered it. I know. <laughs> I thought I, I would just kind of like sneak it in there, and then you'd go, "Yeah, I'm in love with that chick called Linda." Nah. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No. Okay, it's fine. But no, listen, we're looking forward to Thank hearing you. from you, uh, and we can't wait to see what you got going I'm on. I'm looking forward. Yeah. It's, uh, okay. Like you're saying, hopefully everything works out. It's okay. a good year. We'll hopefully come back with actual music. Fantastic. To sing for everyone. Okay, great. Right. So when we come back, do you want to play a game with us? It's gonna be awesome. It it's depends. Awesome. It's a okay. good game. It's okay. a and you'll be the judge. Oh, okay. So you don't From get to judge, participate. From yeah. the judge, that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> okay. we'll have you and Chloe will be the judge. <laughs> Great. Because I'm always judging these guys and I feel bad. All right. So. Thank you, Dan. What's the Thank pleasure. you. Give it up for this guy. Thank you. All right, everybody. Let's find out how good this audience is at. Yeah, music, the beat, listening, being on point. They're just giggling, all right? We'll be right back after this break. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Thank you, darling. Awesome. This guy, this guy. This DJ's on point. <laughs> I love it. All right, everybody, welcome back. We've kept Dan cheesy because we want him to judge a game with our audience real, real quick, okay? And they're all set, I hear. Okay, they've got their scripts. This game is very simple indeed. Sometimes these games are so hard. But today, Dan, it's called Read to the Beat. Okay. Read to the Beat. So basically <coughs> like reading a new script and DJ Clover plays a beat. That's easy to judge, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, my volunteers, come up here. Come up here. Nice, looking lovely. Both of you, okay, I love this. So all you gotta do is stand right there. I'm gonna join you in a second, but I want you to fill your space. Tell them about using your space, because I know you do theater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to, so if that's the front of the stage, you have to be as close to your audience as possible. Okay. There you go. Fantastic. Tell me your name, love. Babil. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right. Are you excited about this day? Uh, yeah. What are your dreams? My dreams, uh, I'm an artist. Okay. I have passion. I have really, really much passion for art. Okay. Yeah, painting. That's amazing. And yeah. Oh, bring us your artwork. Let's take a look at it next time you visit. I will. Okay, good. And <laughs> sir, how are you doing? Looking all kinds of cool. I'm good. You're good? Yeah. What's happening? How, what is your dream? My dream is to become the best interior designer in Kenya. Oh. Really? Yeah. Oh, please clap for these two. <laughs> What's your name? Ian Kemboy. Ian, maybe we'll hook you up with Dan. You can have a conversation. You Inter guys can yeah. collab yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the instructions are simple. Read to the beat. We'll start with the lady, of course. All right, Club, are you all you all ready? Because ladies first, OK? Why not? Me, I stick to that. All right, here we go. Okay, stand by and in five, four, three, two, one. Hello and thank you for joining me in yet another episode of NTV Wild. Yay! <laughs> My name is Babel. Today we visit Savo. National Park to learn more Yay! about the African elephant, which is the largest land mammal on earth. Don't lose it, you are uh, a wild African elephant. 
can go for up to two days. Wow, this game is so hard. <laughs> Without sleep. Oh, oh. And when it does, it sleeps and makes to do with the just two hours a day. It's hard. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I want everybody to know. Here, Clover, let's hold it. Give it up for her. But I want everyone who's watching to know that we didn't pick the beat. They picked the beat for themselves. You picked that beat, girl. Didn't you? You did, because you knew the jam, all right? But you did good, all right? So here we go. Let's, let's hear it from the man himself, OK? This audience is awesome. Go for it, darling. You ready? And you picked the song, right? Yeah. OK, here we go, everyone. In five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> I love it. Ah. Hello, my name is Ian Kemboy, and I'm reporting live from Venice, Italy, where the world's strongest boy just broke the current push up record, Gulian. Performed 20 years' praise of life. On oh, no! <laughs> you gave up on yourself. Come over here, Dan. How do you think they did? Come over here. No. How do you feel like they did? No, they did very, very well. It's, yeah. it's a good exercise for songwriting, by the way. It is? Yeah. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to form teams. You've okay. Yeah? We're okay. going to form teams, and you get to do that version. Okay. Okay, and help her out, and I, I'll help Can you, you out. Can tell me, okay? point us. You, you were you good. You shouldn't have given you up. You did it a lot better than I think I will. I okay. <laughs> but do you know the song? Or do you yes, want to pick a song? I know the song. You know the song? No, but if we're in a team, we have to go Okay, even me, I'll song. go with your song. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Clovo, Dan and I are in the game. Drop the beat. <laughs> Five. Who's four, going first? You are, you are, you are. I am. You're going okay. first. Yeah? Okay, Sawa. Here we are. Dan, step forward. Use your stage. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Go. Clovo, you ready? Yes. Go for it. Hello, yeah. Hello, and thank you for joining me on yet another episode of an in TV. My name is Aseda. Today we visit Transatlantic National Park yeah. to learn more about the African elephant, which is the largest land and mammal on earth. A wild African elephant, you can go for up to two days without sleep. And when it does sleep, it makes you do with just two hours a day. Studies have shown that there is a relationship between the body mass and the sleep patterns. From all this, we will speak to Paul, manager from the University of Wits, what does rhyme? For now, wow. let's take a quick commercial break. Hey! Commercial break. I can't believe that. <laughs> OK, I want to tell you we've lost. Yeah. <laughs> we are the losers of this game. OK, first of all, I don't even know this song. Oh, no, 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 it's so I good. I'm upset. You guys are bored. <laughs> all right, let's try. Let's try. Tukombele. <laughs> So your dancing skills are good though. Yeah. You didn't dance. You didn't dance. dance. Yeah. Didn't you didn't dance. That's for dancing. <laughs> All right, here we go. Clovo, you ready? I'm so nervous. Okay, here we go. Go. Hello, my name is Kobe, and I'm reporting live from Venice. But the world's strong. Ah, boy just broke the current push-up record. Juliano saw. I don't know this song. Can I pick? Can I pick my own song? Can I pick my own melody? Okay, okay, wait. Um, can we do? Which song should I pick, Bridget? Which song should I pick? An easy song. Let, can you have Whitney Houston? Oh my God. <laughs> pick me. We are good. Yeah. Good. I hope you are in our winning team. <laughs> Yeah, no, if the DJ is on their team. Right? Okay, okay. No, but guys, seriously, Dan, you are a professional singer. Okay? I think you're already ahead. Please pick for me. No, no, no. DJ will pick for you. It's DJ an easy one. Me? You're very familiar okay, with it. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. I don't know this song. Oh, yeah, that one I know. Hello. Yeah. My name is Kobe. <laughs> Naito. And uh, I'm reporting live from Venice, where the world's strongest boy just broke the current push up record. Then at Tungu Peke. Yay! We died, we won, right? Yeah, we won. <laughs> I'm 
I'm done. <laughs> This is the hardest game ever. But listen, we're going to give you some hampers. Do we have some hampers for them? All right, over here. OK, while we breathe, you guys were great. You were amazing. And here you go. OK, give it up for these guys. We're back. OK, now this man promised me that he can spin for 15 minutes. We're only going to give him five. All right, you ready? You ready? Are you ready, my dear audience members? Ah, yeah, watch any kelele. Oh yeah, what's happening here? Why are you so indisciplined? Go ready. Are you ready to dance? Yeah, yeah? everyone say DJ Clobo. DJ Clobo. Yeah. Fantastic, drop the beat. Bye everybody, have a beautiful day. See you tomorrow. Make your dreams come true. <laughs>